Really excited to see that one. We had a, a nice pocket of other warblers too. Hey everyone, Derek here from Badgerland Burning. I'm at the Menominee River Parkway. Beautiful day out today. Uh, one issue, the trees are super leafed out. So I feel like it happened a little earlier than normal. So it's kind of like some little more difficult warbler watching, but did see a common yellow throat. A lot of calls and songs from all around. It was a Wilson's singing and an American Red Star. So let's see what we can track down today. Uh, one thing I really want to find is a Canada warbler. There's been some reported here in the last couple days, so let's see if we can find one. With a serene environment around me, and cottonwood tree fluff descending like a spring snowfall, I started walking the trail, noting a variety of species enjoying the forest and river. After spotting many migrants, a different song stood out, and I was able to pinpoint it to my target bird, the Canada Warbler. Adult male Canada Warblers are striking, with a gray-blue back, yellow stomach and throat, and black necklace. Canada Warblers winter in the northern parts of South America, and migrate through the eastern United States to their breeding grounds further north. They feed mostly on insects and other small invertebrates, and normally nest on the ground within dense vegetation. Yes, we got our Canada Warbler. I was across the river, and that's such an awesome bird. Probably one of my favorite warblers. I love the distinct black necklace and the markings by the eye. Just such a sweet warbler, and uh, really excited to see that one. We had a, a nice pocket of other warblers too. There was like Wilson's, Magnolia, female American Red Start. And with warblers and migrants, you do seem to kind of see them in pockets. So they'll hit like uh, an area where they'll see nothing and then you'll see like a bunch in one area then they'll kind of move on. It's important to check all the different habitats because a lot of the migrants behave in different ways. Just had a spotted sandpiper that was down by the shoreline and a northern water thrush. So they'll be hanging out there. Then you have the warblers that like the high treetops, the ones that like mid-range, the ones that like to be by the water. So like you just have all these different birds occupying these different ecological niches, so it's important to look at all the different habitats. I continued walking and spotted even more new species for the day. Added chestnut sided warbler, Baltimore Oriole, black and white warbler. So having really awesome experience here. Got to see a Swainson's thrush singing. That was really neat. Thrushes all have really cool songs, so uh, that was a nice one to kinda kinda get a close up look at. After seeing more of the same species, I thought about moving to my next location before a new bird surprised me. I was just gonna think about heading out because things had slowed down. It's like 12.30ish, so activities really kind of diminished. And then I had an awesome experience with a black throat blue warbler. It just kind of popped out in front of me. It wasn't singing when I saw it, and then it just kind of fed above me, and then it like flew right by me. So. I'm like, I'm ready to go, and then you see a new bird, and you're like, well, who knows what else is here? So I'm gonna trek on a little bit further, see if we can pick up some more new warblers for the day. I added a golden wing warbler and a few other species before moving on to my next location. I managed to get some really obscured views of a scarlet tanager. 
red-eyed vireo. And then I saw a Tennessee warbler getting a drink, and then there were like two more Tennessee warblers, and then a northern water thrush there. But if you're a Tennessee warbler, that was the place to be. Also heard a Baltimore Oriole uh, sing, and then the female came in, so that was neat. Um, but gonna move on from this location. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, so excited to see what we get at some of these other locations. Canada Warbler Views, that's uh, one of the things I'm most excited about. They're so pretty, love that necklace. Always a treat to see those. I picked up my friend Nathaniel, and we headed to Shorewood Nature Preserve in hopes of adding a few more migrants for the day. Picked up Nathaniel, and now we're at Shorewood Nature Preserve, so hoping to find some more warblers. We already had bay-breasted and blackburnian, so that's cool. Um, it is a little slower in the day. It's a lot colder over here, but it does seem like some of the warblers are still active in feeding, so that's a great sign. Hopefully we can find some more. With the colder weather, and it being later in the day, activity was slower, but we still managed to have some good sightings. Nathaniel spotted a morning. I got a really blurry video where you can see it in the background and if it was clear it'd be so good but it's awful and then one where you can just see it like hop down but it's identifiable. So it was a lot colder here, uh, slower because it's later in the day. We're gonna head to our next location and uh, maybe we can pick up some more species there. We were able to add just a few more species before the end of the day but the following morning I followed reports of a rare Connecticut warbler to Milwaukee in hopes of adding it to my list for the year. Making a quick stop at Lake Park in Milwaukee because the Connecticut warbler was reported here. This is a bird I haven't gotten good looks at for a while, so hopefully it's cooperating and excited to see if we can find it. There's a couple other birders here, but I don't think anyone's had it from this new group that's kind of come in. It was apparently singing earlier, and that would make it a lot easier to locate because they're very skulky. Thankfully, the Connecticut warbler did start singing again, which was a big help in eventually relocating it. That's it. That's it? Just, just out for a sec. Oh, yep, got him. He's a uh, base of the big tree on the right side, just hop down. After popping out briefly, the bird remained extremely skulky, but I was able to enjoy some other birds at the park before heading out. Over the course of two days, I managed to see 22 warbler species and explore some beautiful habitats in Wisconsin. I felt thankful to be able to spend some time outdoors enjoying the influx of new migrants, including some rare ones. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.